We've seen letters from the Titanic before, often from survivors, but this is the only known letter to have actually gone down into the Atlantic in the pocketbook of one of the victims and somehow survived intact. Iceberg, run ahead! It's not just the stuff of Hollywood. 105 years ago, a nautical nightmare turned the ship of dreams into a tragic legend. The boats are gone! More than 1,500 people drowned in the frigid North Atlantic when the Titanic, considered unsinkable, sank. For more than a century, many of the belongings of the passengers and crew sat on the ocean floor. But today, the world is getting its first look at a rare and haunting letter recovered from the body of one of the ship's victims. This is the only letter written on Titanic stationery to have actually gone into the water and survived, hence the water damage. It was written by first class passenger Alexander Oscar Holverson to his mother just one day before the ocean liner sank. He wrote, If all goes well, we will arrive in New York on Wednesday, not realizing that the Titanic's maiden voyage would be its last. A wealthy American salesman, Holverson, and his wife, Mary, were on the vacation of a lifetime, setting sail on board the Titanic on April 10th. Written over three pages on the official White Star stationery, he describes the ship as giant in size and fitted up like a palatial hotel. The food and music is excellent. <laughs> he also wrote about the Titanic's most famous and richest passenger, John Jacob Astor, the Bill Gates of that era. He looks like any other human being, even though he has millions of money. They sit out on the deck with the rest of us. Mary survived the disaster. Holverson did not. The letter, recovered along with his body, is expected to go for more than $100,000. A piece of history up for grabs. And guys, what's really amazing about this story is that that letter eventually made its way to Holverson's mother in Rushford, Minnesota. It remained in the family for years, but of course, in just a few hours, it'll have a lucky and probably wealthy new owner. Guys? Lucy, we were all talking about the quality of the letter. It's amazing that it's still in such good condition, too. It is. It really is. Lucy Cavanaugh wow. for us this you, morning Lucy. there in London. Thank you so much. I'm not even struck by even just the penmanship. You know, I know. There. It's because people used to write back then. Take time. That's right. Send letters. That they was even very do penmanship in school anymore? No, I don't think so. I think it's sad. Yeah. Depends on the school, probably. Yeah, that is true. All right. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.